Hey everyone, so today we are going to plant uh, cypress vine seeds. So cypress vine go with a few other names like a hummingbird vine, star glory um, and then you have uh, glory vine, cardinal creeper and so on. So easy to plant them but the, typically the germination rate for the seeds is quite low. So that's why I am planting quite a few seeds. Right, so that uh, at least some of them germinate. There are three colors of seeds um, of plants in this. So there's white, red cypress vine as well as the pink cypress vine. So easy, so I have taken soil. Um, the thing to remember is with cypress vine, cypress vine is quite a dainty little vine, right? So that's why you need to be using good soil right in the beginning. And what I've also done is I've gone ahead and fertilized this. Also have some neem cake and everything. So the potting mix itself is quite fertile. So that once I put the seeds, then you don't have to add any more additives or fertilizers into the soil. So keep your soil rich to start with and start them in good, uh, uh, you know, in, into a good pot. And they don't do very well with transplanting. So I wouldn't recommend first putting them into a small pot then moving them to a big pot etc so this is my final destination for this so that's where i'm going to plant these seeds okay and putting the seeds itself is very simple just scatter them all around the soil because you don't know how many of them will germinate so just give yourself enough opportunity for germination here okay so put all of the seeds scattered them all around from the sides and uh, um, in the center etc again i'm not sure what colors will pop up because I've, i've have an assortment of colors in here okay so that kind of finishes off all my seeds now what cypress vine likes is it likes a relatively moist soil and it likes full sun while the cypress vine likes uh, very bright light as well as uh, moist soil uh, till the uh, seeds germinate and they are quite stable keep them in a shade area and once uh, they kind of stabilize then you can move them into full sun and this is one of those vines that grows really fast so very quickly you will have uh, blooming plants okay so let, we'll keep a watch on this one so today is the 30th of july so let's see how long it takes for these uh, fellows to bloom. All right, uh, today is August 3rd and I pl had planted the seeds on July 30th. And I can see the cypress vine seedlings here. Uh, it's surprising actually. Typically you don't get as much of uh, germination rate. Of course, some of them are very flimsy and uh, may not survive. But I'm pretty happy with the results so far. So these are the germination of the cypress vine seeds and lovely seedlings here. What I've also done is I have created a trellis, a rope uh, trellis which will give them support once they start growing. So I also want to show you once it grows how it looks like. So you can see it here. So you can see how it's spreading all over. So that's the nature and it's a very dainty and delicate vine beautiful flowers i'm seeing a lot of buds all over you can see buds all through the stem um, so as this kind of stops flowering it will then uh, typically the wine will just go down okay so by then i want my new seedlings to come up and then start collecting seeds so that there is a continuous cycle and you can hear one lovely cuckoo also in the background so looks like it's going to rain today so we are in for a lovely day today so today is august 10th and this is the update on the cypress wine you can see that most of them have become taller and uh, slowly we need to start training them around this rope okay so i just wanted to show you we are going to follow this plant's growth till it bears uh, flowers. So today is August 13th and you can see the development of these vines. You can see that they've just started developing their leaves. The, 
the cypress vine leaves and now it's kind of training itself around this white rope as well so very soon we'll have them taking all taking over now uh, going back to the one that i already have so two different colors of flowers today so you have the red ones okay there are quite a few of them blooming the red ones today and then i have the pink ones so you can see the difference in the size the red ones are much larger the pink ones are a lot more delicate and tiny but they look absolutely pretty i mean this is how the seed pods look like right after the flowers drop they develop these seeds and once these seeds dry you can grow more uh, vines right you can just put it in the soil and this is right now white if you pull this out it's not going to germinate but once it completely dries it'll become black that's when you put them into the soil and the cycle continues because these vines don't last long once they are through a little bit of extra sun or uh, they will just die off and as you've been following this whole journey from seed to the vine let's see how long it takes for the blooms to come from the new uh, seeds that we have planted so today is september 2nd 2021 and you can see the growth on the cypress vine and uh, very exciting because i can see some buds getting formed now so you can see some tiny buds across the vine so that's why it's exciting i thought i'll do a quick video today so that you can see the buds as well okay and you can see how this is growing and it's getting buds so good so we are slowly reaching that journey from seed to bloom hey everyone today is the 15th of september 2021 and the day we have been waiting for this is the bloom on my cypress vine so i have one white here a beautiful pink here and another white here blooming and lots of buds see the number of buds on this can you see see the number of buds here lots and lots of buds coming up very exciting to see this so it's taken what i mean a little more than one month and a half from seed to bloom so 30th of july is when we planted the seeds and uh, today is 15th of september and uh, this whole journey has been captured through these videos so very excited about that these are beautiful especially the white one is relatively rare to find so i'm very excited about that so signing off so do enjoy this whole video and this whole life cycle from seed to bloom you can check out other videos on my channel as well and do subscribe and leave a comment if you like this video series okay bye